show. Entry 913 was 15. 914 did not show. Entry 915 was third. Schulte Brothers Tequila Dare, exhibited by Avonlea Genetics, Juan Carlos Hurtado, and Taylor Vandermulen of Brighton, Ontario. Entry 916 was 19th. 917 and 18 did not show. Entry 919 was 12th. Entry 920 was 10th. And first junior, Avonlea Velocity Kiki, exhibited by Avonlea Genetics and Taylor and Will Vandermulen of Brighton, Ontario. 921, 26. Entry 922 was 16. Entry 923 did not show. Entry 924 was 17. 925 was 14. 926 was 4th. Entry 927 was 21st. 928 was 6th. Entry 929 was 22nd. And entry 930 was 11th. And 2nd Junior, SV Colton Highway, exhibited by Shelby Ostrom of Kakana, Wisconsin. Now in the ring are the Jersey Spring Yearlings. First place award presented by Ram L. Holsteins and Jerseys, Mountain Grove, Missouri. Junior award presented by Country Folks Farm Newspaper of Palantine Bridge, New York.
Judge LaMeo has completed his placings in the Melking Shorthorn Spring Yearling class. Would our junior exhibitors please take a step forward? Our second place juniors, entry 1449, North Star Sriracha, shown by Michael Peterson of Ram, Minnesota. The winning junior is third in the class. She is Heavenly Frito E.T., shown by Brett Grebner of Heavenly Show Cattle, Monroe, Wisconsin. Second in the class to entry 1443, Trillo Zeus Lavada E.T., shown by Michelle Upchurch of Tulare, California. And winning the class and best bred and owned is entry 1454, Rydale Something Special EXP E.T., shown by Ryan J. Ryda of Worthington, Massachusetts. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his comments. Again, a really nice group right from top to bottom here. And, um, but the calf here today, she's giving me that advantage and that overall style up through her front end. She's longer from nose to tail. She's deeper about her rear rib. She's a little taller at the point of shoulder and just overall more heifer, more width all the way through than the stylish heifer we have here in second. I will give the advantage of the heifer in second walking on a much nicer set of feet and legs than the heifer in first. Second over third in a close placing. It's just a little stronger all the way through her top line. I prefer the way her thorough placement is and the slope from her hooks to pins as this beautiful stylish heifer we have here in third. Taking nothing away from this big, powerful, massive heifer we have here in third. She uses that mass and power and style that spring to her rear rib as viewed from the rear to go over this ultra correct calf we have here in fourth. We just love this calf in fourth, both my associate and myself, but she just needs more rear rib structure all the way through and more calf to get her any higher. Fourth over fifths uses that style, that hardness at top, that levelness through a rump structure to go over this big powerful calf here in fifth. And fifth over six, again in that rear rib structure. She's cleaner all the way through, showing me more spring to that rear rib. Let's give them a round of applause, a really nice group. 